video, a terrifying scene as a car crashes into a woman, then through the front door of a tanning salon. It kicks off our top 10 at 10 tonight. Simon Shakehead is live in Madison Heights, where he talked with a woman who watched this horrible scene unfold. Simon, what did she tell you? Well, we're going to get to that in just a second. Heather and Glenda, first let me just show you this. This entire front of the building boarded up. It is going to be closed at least through the holiday weekend. And over here, look at this. A piece of the brick was literally knocked right off the side of the wall. Now we want to show you the surveillance video from inside. Caught on surveillance video, a shocking crash involving a driver losing control, hitting an innocent woman and smashing right through the front of a tanning salon. Look again. A closer look shows the victim startled by the car barreling towards her, but unable to get out of the way in time. When I looked, she was coming straight at the window. Brittany McAlpine, the manager at Chili Peppers Tanning, was right there in the video, standing at the front desk. You can see her jump just as it all happens. Seconds later, she's on the phone to 911. It happened all in such a blink of an eye that when I looked up, I heard her scream, try to get out of the way. She had no chance. We're told three people were all taken to the hospital with non life threat injuries. The business also has thousands in damage. The driver of the white SUV, a woman who may have passed out behind the wheel or had a medical condition. Here along John R., the area is known for speeders, but Brittany says she's never seen anything like what happened at about 3 p.m. She was probably 65 or 70 years old. Um, she kind of looked a little bit confused after the situation. She's just sat in her car kind of looking around, probably trying to figure out what just happened. Now we've learned the woman hit by that SUV is 56 years old. She is currently undergoing surgery to remove glass from her legs. We will keep you posted on this live in Madison Heights. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you. How frightening to see that. Thank you so much, Simon.